Hey, this is Carmen from Dished. I'm in my kitchen, so I think we should make something. It seems like nearly every country has some version of this dessert, where the main ingredients are biscuits, butter, condensed milk, and chocolate. The other day, I was at my local Russian food store, and I got inspired to try to make kartoshka pirojina. I'm sorry for butchering that word, but basically it translates to chocolate potato. So let's make it. So the first step is I need to break up my biscuits into a really fine crumb. Most of the recipes that I looked at didn't really specify what type of biscuit. They just had to be sort of a plain flavor. So I found these ones. I hope this is right. They looked fun. They translate to Jubilee in English. I'm gonna add this entire package, which is 200 grams into my food processor. Now let's pulse these up. That looks pretty good. So my biscuits are a nice fine crumb now. They kind of looks like sand, so I need to transfer this to a bowl and then work on the next step. So the next step is to melt my butter and condensed milk on the stove until they're combined. And I actually managed to find some Russian butter at the Russian store, so hopefully that makes it more authentic. So I'm just gonna add that and my condensed milk. So we just wanna cook this until the butter melts and becomes combined with the condensed milk. So some recipes that I found online called for sponge cake instead of the biscuits, and some even called for just bread. So I think it's sort of the type of thing where you can use whatever you have on hand. So now my butter and condensed milk are nicely melted together. I'm gonna turn off the heat and we can move on to the next step. So I have my crushed up biscuits here, and now I just need to add two tablespoons of cocoa powder and just mix that all up together. And now that that's all combined, I can pour in my condensed milk and butter mixture and then give that a mix. So now that this is all combined, I just need to let it cool down a little bit before I can form it into my chocolate potatoes. So I'm gonna cover it and then put it in the fridge and I'll be back. My dough has chilled slightly and now I can form it into my potatoes. So I'm just gonna take a portion, maybe this big, <laughs> and basically form it into an oval shape so that it kind of looks like a potato. There's one. So after these are all shaped into the potatoes, I need to put them back in the fridge to hard... I need to put them back in the fridge for about 15 minutes to firm up. And then I can coat them in some walnuts, which is optional, and some cocoa powder. So I've got these chocolate potatoes that I rolled in my walnuts and cocoa powder, and now it's time to give them a taste. Those are dangerous. <laughs> I could probably eat 20 of them. It's pretty amazing that with such simple ingredients that you can find almost anywhere, you can make such a delicious and easy dessert. Let me know if you also try it at home. And while you're here, click on one of these other great videos and subscribe for more amazing recipes. I'm gonna go finish these.